Hey guys, so today we are going to visit the agency downtown. Um, it's kind of like an orientation, I would say. When I went to go sign the paperwork, they had me sign up for like an orientation-ish thing date. Then they have them every month, like the last Friday of the month. So I just woke up for now. Um, you know, expectations and how to do stuff and just how, yeah, how to do stuff, stuff, meeting thing. <laughs> so that's what we're going to today. So I just got back from Chicago. Um, I went and had my meeting with my agency, the new talent meeting. And then also I had the idea um, afterwards to tour the apartment building that I'm going to be living in next year probably. Um, when I go to Columbia, I'm going to be living in a building that was really close to um, the agency. And so I went and I was like, hey, can I take a tour? And they're like, yeah, come back in like two hours. You can take a tour. So me and my dad went for deep dish pizza because you have to do that when you're in Chicago. And then I went and I toured the apartment building and I took some videos of that and pictures and stuff. So I'll put those in here. that made me really excited so I want to talk about um you know stuff that my agency said in the meeting just so you that you guys can get an idea of kind of what it's like I guess to have an agent um so I wrote everything down in this like little notepad and I have like a lot of pages so I'm gonna go through that a little bit so um it was a new talent meeting so it was everyone assigned in December and January because um they didn't have one in December because of the holidays, and so it's on the last, like, Friday of every month, and so there was, like, I think maybe seven other people there with me. I'll go through my notepad. Um, they talked about running all opportunities through them, and then they went through, like, each of the agents and what their specific um, jobs are and stuff like that so that I know who to contact about what, basically. And then they talked about how it's important to really watch all of the Chicago TV shows, the ones that um, are filming in Chicago, because if you have an audition for one of them, you want to know, you know, the style and really, like, what it's like, so you want to have an idea of what you're auditioning for. Um, so watch them just, you know. And because you should support Chicago shows in general um, so that they stay here and we can keep them for work. Um, and then they, like, they want you to always be working on acting. They said that it should be like a 40 hour a week job and they say like people are like oh like how do I make it a 40 hour a week job like I have to go on auditions but you know watching TV shows counts if you're like cr critically watching you know the actors and stuff like that um taking classes they want us to run all of classes that we like want to take through them um and they're really really big on coaching like really big on coaching I'd say almost even more than classes I like obviously classes are important but they say coaching is what's really going to take you to the next level so yes, big advocates of coaching. They talked about that a lot. Um, she said that theater is something that really creates character. Even if it's a smaller show that you're not getting paid a lot for, you're basically getting free acting lessons and then a little bit of bonus for money for that. Um, again, about coaches, be memorized for every audition you go on and dress appropriately for every audition, obviously. Um, research every project. They said even if it's something like some people think that if they have you know, a McDonald's commercial, why would they need to go watch McDonald's auditions because they've already seen or I mean commercials they you know you see those all the time but they said for every project you know um, the voice actor guy can tell you the agent that does the voice actor um, stuff can tell you that there's a certain way that everyone who's in a McDonald's commercial like enunciates the McDonald's like they put emphasis on a specific part of like McDonald's when they're saying it and so just little things like that look for um, before you go on auditions and they did say that since we are new to the agency and new to the, new to the um, area so a lot of the Chicago casting directors know people specifically so when they get breakdowns they know specifically like hey these are the people I want because I've seen them audition for um, before stuff like that 
So when you're new, it takes a little while to be able to like first get an audition so that the casting directors know who you are. Um, and they said, be clear about your conflicts, especially for callbacks and things like that when you go on auditions. Don't be like, oh, like, maybe I'm busy. Like, be very clear about your conflicts. Um, keep track of your product conflicts. Um, and so for a certain amount of time, you can't do competing products. So say you did a McDonald's commercial, you couldn't do a Burger King commercial in the time that you're still getting paid for McDonald's. And so you need to know when you do certain commercials what um, other products you won't be able to do because of that. Um, be careful of social media. That's a big one they talked about. Like someone went on, a, on an audition and, um, you know, their friend tweeted something bad about like the company they were auditioning for and he didn't get it because his friend tweeted something. And, you know, just stuff like that. Or um, someone who was auditioning for an insurance commercial and tweeted something negative about health insurance. Prior to that, he didn't get the job either. <laughs> so you have to be really careful about stuff like that. But um, a social media presence is good. And then, yeah, some more about reels. Um, student films are good to get um, experience on your reel and stuff like that. And, yeah, that's basically about all that we talked about. And then I went and toured my apartment building, so that was really fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you next video. Bye. <laughs>